Hello all. Hope you're having a great weekend. I sure am. We've been having a lot of fun here. Uh, well, last night Seth got to go to a birthday party and I was hanging out with the, the Georgia Shooting Connection crowd. Got up early this morning and uh, had to take Seth over to the school. Dropped him off. He was going to uh, <clears throat> rehearsal for County Band. And uh, that performance was this afternoon. I'm going to slip a little clip in here. Um, <laughs> good he actually earned first chair so that was a proud dad moment a proud parents moment while uh, while he was off at that uh, uh, dress rehearsal <clears throat> after I dropped him off I visited one of our local clubs um, I'd been a member a while back and I needed to renew my membership they got a nice setup uh, Hummelstown Field and Stream they do a uh, sportsman swap gun show sort of thing every year and uh, kind of seems to coincide with the outdoor show that uh, same weekend opening and I always seem to find something good. I got my uh, my nice scale there. I've gotten some uh, some other tools, some powder, some uh, some brass. <clears throat> That's kind of what I was looking for today. Just reloading tools. Uh, a couple of nice guns. There was a, a a few that I was really tempted by, but I didn't want to buy any any guns. But I did look for reloading supplies, and I got some deals. Um, got myself a nice set of uh, carbide 41 Magnum. RCBS dies for 25 bucks, and I got myself a uh, a Lee loader in 308. Let me uh, let me bring you in a little closer. We'll take a look at them. So this uh, set of dies, carbide dies, um, 25 bucks, not a bad deal. My other ones that I got for uh, I think 20 bucks at the last show, they're uh, they're not carbide, and um, they're missing a few pieces. These came with a uh, a shell holder. They got a, a top uh, punch for round nose, and the one that's in it is for um, a nice semi wad cutter. The only thing that I found that I wasn't uh, totally happy with is the the decapping stems a little bit bent, but I probably won't use that. I do most of my decapping on the the universal, and uh, this might be able to set up so that I could do crimp with a separate and uh, seat with a separate. Maybe I'll even make a uh, a turret for it but they're in real good shape there's no uh no rust they're just a little dirty clean them up real good and uh everything's there so i thought that was pretty cool and uh this one i just couldn't couldn't pass um an honest to goodness old lee loader and uh old data the old card um i don't even know if i have anything on here nope i do i have 3031 that's the only thing um this one had a price tag of 45 and I, I got it down a little bit better than that, so I was pleased. The old uh, instruction card, and I thought this was pretty neat. Um, Lee loaders in 110 sizes, and uh, some that I've been looking for that are awfully hard to find. Uh, 32 Special would be pretty cool. But everything's there. Um, got the old Red Dipper uh, 190. Got um, everything else all intact, in real good shape, and uh, I just couldn't couldn't pass it. I had to had to have it. It's one that I can definitely use. We'll uh, we'll put it to good use. So that was my my good finds today. Um, getting ready to maybe do a little bit of little work on a couple of holsters. I got about an hour and a half till uh, Hillbilly Ups show, and uh, well, hopefully we'll see you there. Hope everybody's having a good one. Thanks a lot.
Take care. Bye.